This video has been made possible thanks to EA Game Changers. The Sims 4 just announced the Moschino Stuff Pack, which is coming out tomorrow, August 13. And if you're 99% of any Sims 4 players, you might be thinking, what the hell is Moschino? Moschino is a high-end fashion designer brand from Italy, who released a collection inspired by The Sims 4 about the same time Island Living was announced. I'm sure that I'm not too far off when I say that neither me or any of you watching are their average customer. But if you are, maybe you should check out my Patreon page. <clears throat> like the H&M and IKEA stuff packs from The Sims 2, and the Diesel and Sweet Treats packs in The Sims 3, the Moschino stuff pack is nothing less than a collaboration between two brands that have nothing in common, but where all parties involved make money. Except you, you just spent $10. But don't worry, I'm not here to just poke fun at this strange marriage of brands. I'm here to give you an overview of The Sims 4 Moschino stuff. Let's start with the main course of this pack, the create a sim items. There is three new hairstyles for women and one for men. For women, there is four tops, three bottoms, three full outfits, and one pair of shoes. For men, there is four tops, two bottoms, one full outfit, and one pair of shoes. There's also one accessory item, these earrings, which you can buy in the real-life Moschino store. And for kids and toddlers, nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's no new makeup, tattoos or hats, or even pre-styled looks. I'm surprised to see that there is barely any of the actual clothes that Moschino made for this Sims collection. Although it's not the first time they do this, the fact that some of the clothes that say Moschino are not in Simlish, it really throws off the immersion for me. But I don't discard the possibility that this was part of the deal with the Italian brand and not something that the developers had control over. Needless to say that I'm disappointed to see that for a stuff pack focused on fashion, there's barely any clothes at all. But let's take a look at the build by items. There's a total of 37 new items. For build mode, there's these two new wallpapers, one door and four windows. In buy mode, we got a chair and a sofa, three coffee tables, one of them in the shape of a gear chest, some clutter decorations like this camera, this stack of magazines, or this other stack of books, one really strange looking side table, a tripod, and a new camera that come complete with a set of two studio lights. These tape marks on the floor will help you set up your model, some decorative amps, and a decorative studio backdrop. As for wall decorations, there's this rack with some photo gear, this really cool speech bubble mirror, a four panel wall art, some new picture frames where you can drag your photos directly from your inventory, and this thing. For lighting, there's this neon sign and this hanging light. We also have this pretty nifty rug with different patterns that will match this brand new translucent room separator. And finally, a pretty IKEA looking bookcase and this clothing rack, which also serves as a dresser. The new photo studio backdrop is pretty cool, though its functionality is the same as the photo studio from Get to Work just with different backgrounds which happen to be animated. This other photo background that looks so similar to the one from Get to Work is just purely decorative. And if you want to change it, you need to go into build mode and use the swatch tool. I do really like the fact that this new backdrop is modular and you can make it as big as you want for bigger groups of sims. Now, a huge improvement to this tripod compared to the photo studio we got four years ago is that not only you can put it in your inventory, you can now select and randomize poses at your will. Whereas before, the Sims post however they wanted, and you could not change it. On this tripod, you can also place any other camera, including the ones we have in base game. The best feature of this item, though, is the fact that you can push tab and move around the same way you do when you're in regular camera mode. Let me say that although I kinda like the overall style of the furniture, I don't see myself using most of it and it's also pretty lacking compared to previous staff packs. I mean, only two chairs? Maxis, are you okay? And last but not least, the new career. The fashion photographer is a freelancer career, which works pretty much the same as any of the others. Once you join, you have to look for gigs and those gigs will give you different tasks to complete. You'll need to hire your model, plan their outfit, take some pictures and either submit them to the client or sell them to an agency. As a plus, you can upload these photos to Simstagram and gain followers or fame if you want to get famous. Like the acting career, once you start gaining levels in your photography skill, the gigs will get more involved. 
where you have to take your models to different setups, choose your own clothing for the photo shoot, or even call in style influencers to collaborate. If you don't know any influencers, there's a new interaction on your PC where you can find and chat with one. And at risk of coming off as a negative Nancy, these are my thoughts. I was not expecting to enjoy this pack, but mostly because the clothing didn't seem to be my style. And this collaboration did not make a lot of sense to me. But as I said before, I was expecting the Moschino stuff to be focused on clothing, since there is a fashion photography aspect to it. But I found it to be seriously lacking on that department, as well as adding a very small upgrade to an already existing feature. I got excited about the photography career, and although as a photographer myself I do enjoy changing the poses and taking pictures in different locations, I was a little underwhelmed. I feel like I could have easily been part of the freelancer update, and it would have worked just fine even if you don't have to get to work. Yeah, I said it, this could have been a free update. I don't know about you all, but I feel like this pack was not made for us. It's not even, meh, it's just not my style, it just feels like, look, we had a chance to cross promotion and make money from each other, so we took it. Which I totally understand, but I still don't feel like whoever made this deal actually cared about what players want and seeing their logo slapped on the townies' clothing makes me feel like there's an ad on my game. Not that this is something new, but at least IKEA or H&M have items that I've bought before. Is The Sims 4 Moschino stuff worth $10? Not for me. I do like some of the build and buy items, and I will probably use them now and then, but if it came to buy it myself, I will leave it for a very, very good sale. That being said, Maxis, I say this with all the love in the world. I've been playing The Sims games for almost 20 years, and I want for this franchise to recover the fun quirkiness from The Sims 1 and 2. And even though the target audience is now 15-year-old girls, your old players are still here, and some of us feel a little left out. You want us to talk to the younger audience, but the truth is, we can't if nobody feels like the content relates to them. There's a reason why Laundry Day is one of the most liked stuff packs, because we made it together.